Hey everyone, so today as part of my 90s nostalgia series I'm going to talk about one of my favourite programmes from when I was around about 10 years old. Mona the Vampire first came out in 1999, ran right until 2003. I was 10 in 2002 <laughs> um, and I love this completely. Many of you will know that I'm very much into the dark side of life, you know, you're, you're gothic, I love your gothic. Uh, and I love the monsters and the creatures that come with it. And Mona the Vampire very much gives us these sort of fantastical, spiritual, sort of mythical elements. And I absolutely love it. As the theme tune suggests, and hey, Mona is one of the fantastic, best, most amazing theme tunes ever, you know, from the 90s, early noughties. And the th as the title suggests, she is a vampire, but she's also a normal girl. And she has adventures with her best friends, Charlie and Lily. Mona is the vampire, and um, Charlie is Zapman and Lily is uh, Princess Giant, I think she was called. And the, every episode starts out normal, you know, they're just going to school, they're doing normal kind of, I think they're preteens, normal kind of preteen things. And then, uh oh, disaster strikes, they have to go and change into their, you know, their, their fantasy costumes and go and fight crime. One of my favourite ones, or at least one of the ones I remember most, whether or not it's a favourite, I can't really recall, is um, there was a, a guy from a comic book who'd escaped, somebody had left a comic book open and one of the villains had escaped and they had to go and get him back in and it was a big, big, big fight and it's quite interesting to watch because it's like an action program but for children and I don't like action films but I love this mainly because of the dark gothic elements to it for children which I did quite enjoy the episodes also seem to go on forever, I mean they weren't that long, I think maybe they were about 20 minutes in length but a lot happened in these episodes and you felt like you were watching it for about an hour because it was so packed but at the same time it felt like it was over in five minutes because it really did grip the imagination and I absolutely loved it. I think it's quite a, it kind of borders a line between, let's use two stupid examples, between Horrid Henry and Dracula. <laughs> you know you kind of have your naughtiness there and that's sort of giving you an indication of bad people in the world. Then you have Mona the Vampire that introduces us to bad people who are mythical and then you have Dracula. So it, 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 I think it does sort of bridge the gap and allow children to watch something a little bit more grown up than, say, naughty. So I do like it a lot. Please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts on this and whether or not it was something you watched so, kind of religiously. I did watch it pretty much every day after school whenever it was on. I think it used to be on, like, something along the lines of the Cramp Twins. There's a blister on my finger. Something along the lines of the Cramp Twins, then Mona, and then Tracy Beaker, and then Kerching. Kind of that, that sort of s schedule. Um, so it was brilliant. Please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts. That's it for just now. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.